Are you in a good mood today? Do you have your energy all pumped up and you're ready to just blast across the paper with me? Let's become commanders of this piece of paper and draw some three-dimensional drawings today. We're going to draw a cute little puppy sitting here on the piece of paper and it'll be facing away this way. And we'll use that special art word, spots, to enhance our drawing and make it more interesting for our eye to look at. That's what these art words do is they, they're like music to your eye on your drawing. Now let's start the cute puppy right here by drawing a round face. We'll build the character together. There's the round circle for the face. And then here's the neck coming down off the puppy into the body of the puppy. And then we'll draw the bean shape. You see there's a neck. And then we draw a bean shape right here for the puppy's body. Nice round. Look at the back kind of curves up like this and around toward the tail. You can even put the tail on here right now if you want to. Tail goes up with a line curling up and then the fur follows the tail direction. You see this? See how it goes up like that? And you can even put a couple loose hairs back there. There's his neck and then the hair on his chest and on the back right here. Now for the, the little snouts right here, the nose of the puppy, a really short nose, make it a cute little puppy. See if you make it a big nose, it looks like an older dog. We'll make it a cute puppy by putting a big round eye here and using overlapping this Back eye is overlapped behind the near eye. Draw the, the short nose right here, really round nose, curving up. There's a smile, and then the grin line goes all the way up to the eye. And then draw a little eyeball right there. See how you leave a reflection? Now we have to put the little nose on the end of the puppy. Curve it in, put a reflection in there. See, nice and dark around that reflection. I leave a reflection in the eyes, too, to make it look a little cuter a little more realistic. You can add these little extras to your drawings. These little extras that are neat to add to your drawings make it more fun for you, make it look even more real. I'll draw the top of the puppy. And then we draw the ear. Now the ear comes out from the top. Are you keeping up with me all right? Loosen up your hands. You forgot to get all those little monsters that are inside your hands all out of your hands and that will blast across with the ears right here. You ready? Get all those kinks out of your fingers that Keep you from drawing a really nice ear. Look at this. Curl this up. Go away in this direction. Okay. Curl down and around. Now we'll make the ear popping off over here in this direction. Now I can make both ears look exactly the same, but to add a little more variety to my drawing, I'll make one of the ears slanting down a little bit, just drooping a little bit more than the far ear. See, now watch this. I go out like this. See this? See how it loops out? Kind of lays down right here. And it comes out in a different direction. A little bit of variety. And then put some fur. See all that fur on top? And fur along the top of the eye. And fur down the back of the neck right here. <laughs> really cute little puppy right there. And now, watch this. I can draw a curved line right here. Coming to the, where the grin line is. And it goes back. And that's going to be where I add the tone to my puppy. All the way up to that grin line right there. Makes it look cuter. Then add some tone to the ear all the way up the ear and then over here on this ear too then we can add some spots to the ears if you want to put a few spots going up the ears a little group of spots there and i'll put some spots back here and then i'll put hi cindy how are you today oh i know it's a cute puppy isn't it uh, what do you want to put a leash on my puppy for <laughs> cindy they're just playing when they bite at your leg Oh, don't bite their tails. That's not very nice. Well, I'm sure the leash right here will keep them from biting your tail, okay, Cindy? You know, wait, wait, wait. I want to show you something. Don't take it away yet. Can I, can I show you something? You sure? <laughs> okay. Well, look and see how you drew spots on your leash. That's our special artwork today. Spots. You know, can I put some spots on your hand? All right, I'll put some spots on the back of the puppy right here. I don't think I want a leash on my puppy here. Why don't you take that? And keep oh. it because I like my dog to run around the backyard all nice and free and yelping and having fun. You put little spots. See a little group of spots? I'll put a big spot <laughs> and a small spot. <laughs> so you're funny. <laughs> you're cute too, Cindy. <laughs> now I'm going to look it. I'll even add some tone. I'll have it come around the neck right here. Uh -huh. Here comes the legs coming down. Oh, chubby little legs right there. There's the front leg. And now watch the foot. Foot starts here in direction one goes in direction seven you draw the top of the cute foot and then for the paw you draw one paw with three toes and then you draw the back foot right here 
in direction seven. See, I continue that guide line in direction seven. Now, see, I use the alignment lines a lot to make the puppy... Alignment. It makes the puppy sit on the paper. Like he's really walking around. No, I'm. he won't bite your tail, I promise. It's just a drawing. <laughs> Wait, I don't think that green will look very good against my charcoal drawing. Would you like a leash on you? <laughs> I didn't think you would. I'm going to draw the back leg. Can I do that? See you later, Cindy. You're a funny, Cindy. She always gets me in a funny mood. I'm going to draw the little tiny toes. See, there's one back here, lining up with that toe. One back here and makes it real chubby. And there's the belly down here. And here's the fur line. A real round foot back there. And I'll take this charcoal pencil and add my tone around the neck right here. See, I leave the belly white. Goes down the leg, down that back leg back here. All the way along the dark, the back. See these dots, these spots. I'll put some spots on the back of the, the head, too. The little ones and a big one and a small one. So I'm adding tone. I leave the belly white all the way down to the ankle. Up the tail. And then some shading on the left side. I feel like a few more spots. Later on, we're going to add all kinds of spots to the mural of your drawing. You can add spots to a blank wall or a tree. Or say if you have a window with a curtain in it, add spots to the curtain. Add spots to all your drawings. It makes it a little more interesting. I'm going to outline that dark shade right there. Gets a little more highlight. Maybe put a little bit of shading on the nose. Highlight the eyes by putting some shading around the eyes. Okay. A little more shading on the leg. More shade on this leg. And then a cast shadow on the ground right here. All the way along the ground in direction one, lining up in this direction with the bottom of the feet right here. Make the tail wagging, like it's real happy and it's having a good time because we're drawing. He gets in a good mood too when we draw. Don't you get in a good mood when you draw? I always get in a really, really good mood. All the way across, nice and dark, and using spots. Draw, 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 practice your drawing about 20 or 30 minutes a day, and when you're drawing today, add some spots to your drawing.